this is Raju here and uh, welcome back in this video uh, we are going to discuss about BSS and OSS now BSS mainly stands for business support system and OSS stands for operation support system now why we are having these two different functions all together when we consider the telecommunication industry then these two functions plays a very important role that is your BSS and OSS uh, functions because now one side the network is there the operations is uh, runs on and on the other side the customers has to be supported with the required uh, uh, what we can say support right so for that reason the telecom industry uh, has a critical support system of BSS and OSS now what exactly it is and what is the importance that we will look at and we also understand on CRM that is your customer relationship management which is very very important mediation mediation is called as a heart of uh, telecommunication industry because this is the system uh, which connects to the different network elements of a telecom and uh, it is mainly responsible for collecting all the CDRs or collecting all the usage that is done by the end users or end subscribers and then uh, uh, decoding those uh, uh, CDRs or we can say decoding those files and giving the desired uh, output to the billing system. Uh, rating and billing if you see then uh, it is basically whatever the CDR or whatever the input that it gets from mediation it will tag the rate and it will apply the specific billing packages that are opted by the subscriber uh, for their uh, usage or as per their plans. Then next comes your revenue assurance. This is again very very important. Why? Because every aspect is related to your revenue, whatever the action or whatever the product that get released in the market is associated with the revenue. So again a very important uh, factor. Fraud management. Now everyone will be aware that how the fraud happens and in case if any fraud happens then the telecom industry loses millions and millions of uh, dollars. Uh, and uh, it is a very very big hit in their revenue so for that purpose the fraud alert mechanisms are there the fraud management team is there which continuously monitor the fraud alerts and they take a respective action we will not go in detail but in this video we will just try to understand the different aspects or the different functions of OSS and BSS and in the upcoming videos we will be walking through in detail about what is CRM, how it supports, what is mediation, what are the different uh, functions of the mediation, why mediation is called as a heart of the billing uh, telecom uh, industry or the telco operator, what is the importance of rating and billing, revenue assurance, fraud management, in detail we will see so that we get a complete picture of how exactly the functioning of each element happens okay and also now uh, if you see the telco operator well, from where exactly the revenue uh, generates it is from the products that are the different different products that are launched by the telecom industry or the telco operators in the market to enhance their revenue so if you see there are the competitive products that are launched in the market by each telco operator why because sustainability is one important thing and at the same time increasing the revenue is very very important right because every resource uh, every resource when I say from the network side you may take from the internal uh, software side you may take there is a cost associated to it and in order to fulfill that cost and to gain profit then product different different product has to be released in the market from time to time to attract more and more subscribers likewise right now for example here we can see when we go for a postpaid plan there are different variety of postpaid plans right now it depends on the subscriber or the end user which plan he want to opt based on his necessity there are vast products that vast products are nothing but your value added services like crvt data specialized pack right now yeah, on the data of the specialized pack if you see then there is a 10 rupees pack overnight uh, complete internet free from let's say 7 p.m. to morning 6 a.m. like that these are what these are the value-added services that telco operators are pro providing right 
and uh, prepared plants there are different variety of prepared plants and uh, once upon a time if you see the call charges in the prepared it was around 2 rupees 3 rupees 4 rupees even 10 rupees 18 rupees those days were there per minute but now if you see unlimited plants are there right if you just pay a minimum uh, rental or minimum uh, recharge of let's say 199 299 399 based on the uh, appetite of the subscriber and the usage of the subscriber there are different different unlimited plans right so once you pay forget about it then you talk how much ever you want international different in an earlier in the earlier days some 10 15 years back if you see international plans were very very costly but now it is very cheap correct why because technology has advanced now everything is getting driven by data so now if you go to international location also what we are doing we are getting connected to the wi-fi network of a particular hotel where you are saying or the office and from there now we uh, we are doing whatsapp call or a facebook call or there are different different applications that are available for the subscribers to get connected with their family friends relatives etc and you are charged very minimum uh, right so if you are getting uh, connected from wi-fi i think you don't even get charged for that because you latch on to your uh, uh, home uh, means uh, the wi-fi network or the data service provider where uh, exactly you are located and from there uh, you make the usage of the internet only the thing is now whenever you are staying in a hotel for example you go to a hotel in the international location then for wi-fi usage they may ask five dollars per day or let's say it is uh, ten dollars per week so that is even cheap right so unlimited calls now you make unlimited uh, number of times uh, you get connected with your uh, friends relatives families and even you can see face to face by making the video calls so it is like there is no feeling of you moving away from your families uh, because now everything is uh, video driven and data driven right now providing internet services to the corporate office interconnection services now this is again interconnection or interconnectivity uh, is again a very big topic why because whenever a call gets originated then it passes through the carriers and there is an interconnection that is there between the carriers so this topic also we will discuss in detail in the coming videos now just to see the telecom bss so what are those it's a set of software application which mainly handles commercial aspects so these are bss support systems or business support system they handles mainly the commercial aspect of the customers and the interaction for the respective telecom operators now let's say if you are raising a complaint you are not satisfied with the service what you are getting or there is a dispute you want to make a dispute in your bill because you expected 100 rupees and you got 150 rupees of the bill so you can raise a uh, dispute with the telco operator so all those uh, interactions or uh, complaints or connecting to the telco operators for different different services bss uh, is important okay so you, here if you see the overall uh, structure now here uh, it is mainly these are the network elements where uh, you make the usage it is nothing but your total network and network is managed by network management system and then it comes your oss operation support system and bss business support system and then the end user so here if you see end user if you want to uh, get uh, connected to the telco operator then bss is where the end user get connected operation support system is mainly internal to the telco operator where they manage the different different network elements so here now normally if you see oss and nms they are almost like a similar and they are clubbed together that i will explain in the uh, coming slides okay so this is how about uh, bss now there are four different uh, categories of the bss and which are very very important and uh, the first one is about your cm cm is nothing but your customer relationship management the next is om that is the order management then your product management and then your revenue assurance okay now cm uh, let us see in detail what exactly it is what is meant by your uh, customer relationship management which is also called as crm right 
Now, this is a very, very critical important step for the telco operators as the satisfied customer stays with the telco. Now, here what we are saying, if, if any uh, telco operator, they want to increase the business, the, what is the first and foremost criteria that their subscribers should be happy. Now, how those subscribers would be happy uh, when telco operators first thing provides a seamless what connectivity. There shouldn't be any uh, drop in the call. There, the, there shouldn't be any lag in the uh, data what we are accessing, right? So when this kind of services are provided, then the customers will be very, very happy and there will be a increase in the number of subscribers for that telco operators. So here now every uh, customer is sourced into your CRM and whatever the complaints or whatever the satisfactory things that we express, everything gets recorded here so crm is what it is very very important and this is not only the function there is a broader perspective of crm it is not only related that okay uh, see the customer data who is satisfied who is not satisfied this is not the only function we will discuss uh, a very detailed uh, topic by topic as i mentioned because there are also the other points or the other uh, uh, topics that we need to discuss now product management now when we see the product management Product uh, management is mainly responsible for increasing the revenue of a telco operator. Why? Because uh, constantly or consistently there has to be a uh, what we say release of new new products in the market so that subscribers get attracted to the products and they start purchasing it right now when subscriber gets attracted and they start purchasing it then it will be like your business is increasing means your revenue is getting added up directly to say. Now, uh, how it is now, the very good example is when we are roaming, right? Now, there will be a, some uh, operators where the charge will be more and the some operators, they will be having a uh, less rate for the calls. So, in such a cases, what the telco operators will do, they will have a tie up and they will see that there will be a particular charges that will be applied and that is called as IOT. That is nothing but your inter-operator tariff. This inter-operator tariff is agreed between the telco operators. Now revenue management. Revenue management is nothing but your revenue assurance. Now what is the main function of the revenue assurance? Whenever there is a leakage that is identified in a product, normally whenever a product has to be rolled out into the market, then the revenue assurance team give go ahead. Why? Because they uh, assess all different possible scenarios. They test all those possible scenarios. They make the billing team or the mediation team to root the pseudo rating of the series and they see that whether the leakage is getting uh, anywhere there is a leakage of the revenue. Uh, leakage of the revenue means the calls are not getting rated properly or the calls are getting underrated or overrated and different different uh, function. So in that case, if we really see, then revenue assurance is mainly responsible for to avoid the revenue leakages and to fix those revenue leakages in order not to have any loss for a particular product. So if there is a loss for a particular product, indirectly what is happening? The operator is losing his revenue, right? So that is a very, very uh, uh, important thing. And also their main focus will be on your fraud management because there is a larger area or that is a large area where if revenue leakage happens, that will be like very, very extensive. Okay, order management. Now, whenever there is a, a new subscriber getting uh, sourced into the telco operator network, then there will be order management life cycle that is uh, 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 like uh, different uh, systems will be involved in this where the order uh, is uh, inserted. Order is inserted means subscriber profile is inserted with all the details with uh, whether he is a postpaid, prepaid, what is the plan he is having and likewise. And there will be a unique uh, account that will be created and that will be tagged to that particular uh, subscriber or the user uh, against a mobile number. So that is how the order management takes place. Okay. Now interfaces to the BSS system, if you see, these, uh, these are some of the examples to the BSS system. What are the different different systems that are linked together uh, to the BSS? One is tab files or cyber files. If you see, this is again a very, very interesting topic 
tab files or the cyber files you might have uh, heard about cdma technology right so in cdma technology whatever the uh, what we say the cds that get generated called detail records that are in the cyber format which are called as cyber files and whatever the gsm usage is there like your 3g 2g 4g 5g whatever the usage that is happening the record detail uh, gets generated in the form of tab files now you are uh, that again there is a link uh, because we have mediation and billing systems are there right so these type files or the cyber files get rated in that again if you see the banking systems are connected to your bss system general ledgers are there inventory management billing and printing here uh, call uses that is nothing but your call detail records credit checks payment gateways iv lookup of address in the db so these are all the different different interfaces which are connected to your bss system and uh, they are uh, in uh, what we can say there is a dual flow of communication between each interface to the bss and bss to the interface so this is how uh, overall uh, interfaces of bss systems are connected now if you see the component of the bss this is very very interesting uh, topic and uh, we will see about this in our upcoming videos i hope uh, you got the overview of uh, at least on the bss side because oss uh, we will be discussing and uh, yes if there are any questions or comments you would like to add please feel free to uh, post your comments and uh, do not uh, forget to share subscribe my channel that will be really helpful for me thank you thank you very much